It was a game that was decided in injury time, the very last minute of injury time, which saw Newcastle beat Frank Lampard's Chelsea by a single goal to nil. Isaac Hayden, the goal-scoring hero. They went bananas at St James's Park, you as you would expect them to do. If we had known, we could have just cut out the actual 90 minutes and just played that last... Because that was pretty much it. Didn't impress you? It was not a game that I will remember in about half an hour. Other than that last, other than that last goal, because it was dire straits. Newcastle, listen, you've got to do what you've got to do, and and Newcastle's, Newcastle's goal is to stay in the Premier League. That's it, and right now they're in a decent spot, and so there's no onus on them, home or away, to open up and play, because if they do that, they're going to lose. So they keep it tight, and they just say, Chelsea, come on, come and beat us and they couldn't do it, and they ran out of ideas, and actually, from the start of the game to the end of the game, they didn't have any ideas how to break them down. A uh, combination of good defending, and, and a combination of players going forward with no real imagination on the ball, and the movement off the ball, I thought was desperate. You know, the, I thought the last, the last 20 minutes of the game, Chelsea got men forward, but they had about five players playing centre forward. Everybody had the back to goal, looking at the man with the ball. I mean, it's so easy to defend against. They had Newcastle had numbers, and so there was very few spaces anyway. But because of that lack of movement, because everybody's staring back at their own goal, nothing happens. They've been rather inconsistent, haven't they, Chelsea, in the last few weeks? And you mentioned the midfield situation there. Mason Mount was taken off. He's normally mm. a player who can influence in that way, carry the ball, make something happen, a spark mm. of creativity. But it's, it's quite interesting. They, they cycled through. They went to Barkley, which was possibly a surprise off the bench yep. as well. No better. And were you looking maybe for a bit more clinical finishing from Abraham? He had a couple of chances. He, he had a couple of chances, but they were tough ones. You know, the one that he goes past the keeper... He should do better, but clearly he doesn't have much of a left peg. Uh, there is one cleared off the line, but it's from a deflection. It's, it's, those things weren't coming from, from really what, what Chelsea were doing, particularly, because of the movement. You know, you think, of, you think of Liverpool and Manchester City in particular. They're always in the final third. They're always asking questions, but there's always somebody running in behind. And it's not always the same person. You know, they have different variations of players. Sometimes your midfielders are running past the centre forward to get in the box. Sometimes the wide guys are coming to get in the box. The full backs are trying to get in the box. Chelsea today was so static, particularly in that second half where Newcastle just said, come and beat us, and they couldn't do it. Do you think that today's performance will have any kind of impact on pulling the trigger in January over signings? Oh, I think even before this game, they needed signings. They needed to. They need a little bit more experience, I think, up front. You know, Hudson Odoi hasn't proven anything to anybody yet, in my opinion. Mason Mount was on fire, but you know, he's a he's a young player, uh, and young players eventually run out of gas and, and consistency, and that's 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 understandable. Uh, Tammy Abraham, a little bit the same, you know, running out of gas a little and a little inconsistent, and so you're left with Villian, who up until this season, was a player who was in and out all the time anyway. So, absolutely, I think, I think they need some experience. It would help getting Pulisic back, no question, uh, and Loftus-Cheek, but I think they need a, a bit more experience up front. As for Newcastle, an unexpected bonus to get three points instead of one from this one. And you said, you mentioned it, that the, the mission is to stay in the Premier League yeah. with uh, sort of just finishing a, a net... Uh, balance sheet out every year for Mike Ashley. Steve Bruce was mocked when mm. he was appointed, but yeah. I mean he's proved quite a lot of people wrong so far. Well, what he's got, he's got a bunch of players that get their jobs done. You know, the, I think I think today, Lascelles as a centre back, everything was thrown in the box. He headed away. Chelsea lose a goal in the last kick of the game, pretty much, or the last header of the game, because Rudiger couldn't do what Lascelles had been doing all day. A ball was thrown in the box. Centre back, it's a basic job. You know, it's, it's great to be able to play out from the back and do all this silky stuff. But at the end of the day, when the ball's thrown in the box, as a centre back, your basic job is to head it clear. 
and Rudiger made a complete mess of it. And his team's lost again. It's a result that puts Newcastle now on the cusp of the top half level on points with Arsenal and Everton. Things moving in the right direction for them. It came very, very late. Chelsea still have to work things out in this January window. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.